Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Coding Interview Practice. Today's episode is about climbing the stairs. You are climbing a staircase. It takes n steps to reach the top. Each time, you can climb either one step or two steps. In how many distinct ways can you climb to the top? For example, when there's three steps in the staircase, there's three ways to climb to the top. You could climb one step at a time, You could climb one step and then climb two steps. Or you can climb two steps and then climb one step. As usual, let's start with thinking about test cases. And first, let's consider edge cases. Let's say that if there are zero steps left, there's exactly one way to climb to the top, which is just being at the top. If we get an invalid input, such as having a negative number of steps, let's return a value of zero. And take my word on this, but if there's 20 steps, there's exactly 10,946 ways to climb the stairs. This problem is a good candidate for recursion because you can break down a problem into smaller problems. Let's take the example above of three steps in the staircase we can start off by climbing one step, or we can start off by climbing two steps, which means we either have two steps remaining or one step remaining. So the number of ways to climb a staircase of three steps is equal to the number of ways to climb a staircase of two steps plus the number of ways to climb a staircase of one step. These can be further broken down into smaller problems until we reach our base cases of either zero steps or a negative number of steps remaining. Let's code this solution. First, let's start by handling the base cases. If n is equal to 0, we return 1. If n is less than 0, we return 0. Now let's move on to the recursive case. We we return the call to climb stairs with n minus 1 plus the call to climb stairs with n minus 2. Let's run the test cases. And they pass. Good job. Let's pat ourselves on the back for a quick episode. But wait. Just one second. Let's analyze the time complexity. Each time we call this function, we make two calls to the function. And in each of these calls, we make another two calls to the function. And this continues on the order of n times. So our time complexity is exponential. O of 2 to the n. Wow, that's fucking terrible. We have to do better than that. Let's go back to our example of three steps and see if there's anything we can optimize. I noticed that if we climb one step and climb another step versus if we climb two steps, we're at the same place with one step remaining. Yet we're doing this calculation twice when we could be doing it only once. We're on to something. If we solve this problem before, we don't need to solve it again. We can just remember the answer from the last time we solved it. Welcome to the world of memoization. Memoization is an optimization technique where we store the results of function calls and return those cached results when the function is called with the same input. If we use memoization in our solution, we only ever have to solve a linear number of problems. For example, in the case of three steps, we'll solve the problems of three, two, one, and zero steps, each exactly one time. This gives a time complexity of O of n, which is loads faster than the previous solution. Let's code the solution with memoization. First, let's create a dictionary to use as our memo. The keys to this dictionary are the number of steps in the staircase, and the values are the number of unique ways to climb that number of steps. We'll call a helper function and pass n and the memo.
In our helper function, let's start again with the base cases. If n is equal to 0, we return 1. If n is less than 0, we return 0. Before we move on to the recursive case, let's see if we've solved this problem before by checking if n is in the memo. If it is, great, we can return the result without doing any extra work. If it isn't, let's store the result in the memo so it can be used at a later time. and then return the result. Let's run the test cases. And they pass. OK, now we can actually give ourselves a pat on the back. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Coding Interview Practice. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more, subscribe. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Thank you.